Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I have another vintage quilt block for you. This one is called Lena's Choice and this is another big 16 inch block and this one uses a lot of flying geese units so if you are comfortable with flying geese units then this is a good block for you. Now it does have a lot of pieces so it does take a considerable amount of time to put this one together but uh, if you stay with me I'll show you how to do it. Here are the pieces you're going to need to make Lena's choice. For A you need one four and a half inch square. For B you need eight two and a half inch squares. C is twelve two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. D is two three inch squares. E is two five and a quarter inch squares. F is two three inch squares. G is 12 two and a half inch squares, H two five and a quarter inch squares, I is four four and a half inch squares, and J is four two and a half inch squares. So you can see there are a lot of pieces in this block. So give yourself time to make this one. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some flying geese units. So I'm going to start with the B and the C pieces and make some flying geese units. I'm going to make my flying geese units with my C rectangles and my B squares. Place them right sides together and I'm just doing one at a time flying geese units. So you can do two at a time. I think there's a four at a time method and you can use foundation paper and there's tools that you can use but I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to sew from the center top to the lower left hand corner and you can use a line you can draw a line from here to here or you can use tape on your machine to guide you which is what I'm going to do and so I'm going to sew with the center corner right under my needle and this corner here is writing on the side left side of the tape as I sew that'll give me a straight line trim my threads and now I'm going to trim this outer corner. I'm leaving a quarter inch seam allowance and then I'm going to press up. Okay now we're going to sew the right side on and I'm going to go from the center to the lower right hand corner. this one even a quarter inch seam allowance and you can trim this with your rotary cutter if you want and then I'm going to press up and then I'll have my flying geese unit okay so I need to make four of these so now I need to make more flying geese but I'm using different colors now well I'm going to still use the C which is the blue and then I'm going to use the red as my squares so these are the um, C and the G pieces. So I'm just going to make more flying geese units. And I need to make four of these. So now I have four flying geese in the red and the blue. So I'm going to set them aside and I have another set of flying geese to make and this time I'm still using the C rectangle so I have four more C rectangles and this time I'm going to use the remaining G squares and the four J squares. So on these I have to get them on the correct side. So I want two of them 
to have the white square on the right side and two to have them on the left. So we're going to flip these around a bit. And we're going to start with the white on the right side. two like that. And then I need two with the white on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and so those on, they're going to go this direction. Okay, now I'm going to come apart and I'm going to trim and press and then sew on the squares on the opposite sides. Okay, so now I'm going to put the red squares on and they're going to go on the opposite sides. These two, it's going to go on the left side instead of the right. Okay, so I have two flying geese with this layout, I have two with that layout. So now I have all the flying geese units made. So now I need to make quarter square triangles. Okay, now I need to make some quarter square triangles. And to do that, I need my H squares and my E squares. And this will make four quarter square triangle units. So um, I'm gonna start by drawing a diagonal line on the wrong side of these H squares. So I need a ruler and a pencil. And I'm going to draw one diagonal line on the wrong side. And this is going to be, um, it's going to turn out to be a cutting line, but it's also a guide for sewing. So I'm going to put let me see, do this to both. Each one of these will make two quarter square triangle units. Okay, I have the line drawn and I'm going to place these right sides together with my red squares. Now I'm going to sew a quarter inch away from the drawn line on both sides. Do the other side. Okay, and I'm going to repeat with the other two, the other set. I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart on the drawn line and you can use your rotary cutter or you can do like I'm doing and just use a pair of scissors. So what I have right here now is two half square triangles from each set. 
So I'm going to press towards the red and then uh, we'll work on the next steps. Okay, now I need to draw a diagonal line from this corner to this corner. And I only need to do that on one set of two. And now I'm going to put these together, right sides together, and I'm going to put opposite colors together, so white to red. And I'm going to go ahead and nest my seams and I'm going to pin those. Make sure they're nested really well. Okay, now I'm gonna sew a quarter inch away from this drawn line on both sides. on the drawn line. And turn my threads here. Okay, now I have two quarter square triangles. So I'm gonna press and then I'm gonna measure. These need to measure four and a half inches. So um, if they're a little bit large, then I can always trim down. But let me go ahead and press these. And they are a little bit large, so I'm going to go ahead and trim them down. Okay, now I have them all trimmed down to four and a half inches. Okay, now I need to make half square triangles with my F and my D squares. So I've drawn a diagonal line on the wrong side of the lighter color, and now I'm going to sew a quarter inch away from both sides of that drawn line. apart and press them open. Okay, so now I've got them pressed and I've gone ahead and I've trimmed them down to two and a half inches square. So I have my four half square triangles ready to go. And next thing I need to do is to lay out all the pieces of the block and uh, get started sewing on that. Okay, to start on the center, I've got the A square in the center in the flying geese units and they go on the sides just like this and then for the corners we use the half square triangles and the red is going to go to the outside so we'll put the blue on the inside and this makes up the center of the block so I'm going to go ahead and sew these into rows and then I'll sew the rows together.
now I have all my pieces laid out for the block and watch your diagram when you do this because the pieces on opposite sides match but these two sides don't match what's going on here on these two sides so like your top and your bottom is going to be different from your left and your right side so here I have one thing that's going to be consistent is all the hourglass blocks you're going to have the white facing your center star so make sure you have them turned that way and not like this you want your white facing and on two of the sides you're going to use the flying geese units that have the red and the white on it and you want the red facing towards the center of the block and then for the other two sides you're going to use the flying geese units with two reds and you want the red facing towards the hourglass block so I think you can see this one maybe a little bit better it's kind of hard to get everything in but see we've got red facing red on this side and the opposite side and then on this side we've got the red facing towards the center and the white facing out so follow the di diagram and uh, you'll be able to get that so I'm going to sew these into rows so I'll sew this one row in the bottom row and then these segments here will be three pieces here so then I can put it all together like a nine patch. Thank you. 
Okay, here is the finished block and you can see how the right and left sides are different from the top and the bottom. So this will make a really interesting pattern if you had a quilt full of these blocks. You would have like a ribbon uh, running through it and uh, encircling all of the stars. So this block was interesting to make. It did take quite a bit of time and there are a lot of points to match and you'll have areas where you've got a lot of seams coming together so it can be challenging to get through that but if you can do the flying geese units and have square triangles um, the units for this aren't difficult and you have the hourglass block in there too the quarter square triangle block uh, so the units aren't difficult it's just a matter of getting them put together and matching your points and um, just taking the time to do it because this block does take a considerable amount of time. Anyway, I hope you will consider giving this one a try. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on the block Lena's Choice. I think this was a really interesting block. I like the the way the flying geese around the star kind of make a, a ribbon design. So play around with the colors in this one and you probably can come up with different designs for this one too so um, this is a pretty versatile block so I hope you'll give it a try now if you like this video please click the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up and in the meantime I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching for more quilting ideas click on the video links and to keep up with my latest projects click on the subscribe button I hope to see you again soon.